the deal. Causing smoke and all this stuff. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna set the eggs aside. I'm gonna put three, I need three eggs for this omelet. Um, in a bowl, I'm gonna crack them like so. Bam. All right, one, two, and then here's three right over here. Bop. And what I like to do to kind of fluffen the eggs out a little bit and give myself even just a little more food, something like that. Um, if you have any half and half, it's always a good thing. You only need a splash. But if you have any almond milk, almond milk works, lactose free milk works, anything creamy and not sweetened with any sugary crap. Um, you want the real sauce though, I, ha I recommend using cream or half and half, gives the eggs a really nice fluff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go boom, just like that, that's it. Literally like a one second pour, put it back. And then uh, we've got the, uh, I'll be right back and over here. We've got a little salt and pepper. I like garlic salt, fine black pepper's nice. So I'm just gonna give them a little bang. Oh, there he is coming out now. A little bit of that, a little bit of garlic salt. This stuff's great, it goes with everything. Um, if you like garlic, I like the garlic in this. Not too much though, this stuff's really strong, so just a douse, you know? Maybe a pinch, maybe a table, uh, uh, maybe half a, I'd say half a teaspoon or less, a quarter teaspoon of that salt. Um, use it to taste, right? Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna use the tip of my knife so I don't have to leave your screen again. But typically you wanna use like half a teaspoon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the tip of my knife, come in and get about that much dumping into my eggs right there oh we're gonna leave this out because there's a really nice strategy to flavoring the oil that you cook and if you like a garlicky and onion and i'm going to be cutting up onion you can throw and some mushroom actually forgot to tell you guys about the baby mushrooms cremendous if you're in. actually these are yeah baby bellas um when you when you have hot oil like that or butter any kind of oil if you want to flavor it and give it sort of a rich garlicky tone take a, a tablespoon of that uh, garlic minced and just dash it in there and let it sizzle for a second and move it around so it doesn't stick and burn it'll give an, uh, an enormous pop to the flavor that you're cooking with uh, if you like that sort of thing I do so that's what we're doing now I'm gonna whisk up my eggs want to poke the uh, yolks pretty good these are healthy ones just give it a nice you know a nice whisking and stirring let the cream settle in mix in and dissolve the egg so it becomes one with the universe now um, clearly COVID-19 lockdown has got me talking to myself a lot and my dogs that are right down here so uh that's all right Give a shit. anyway um i'm gonna whisk them up real nice you know you want it to be kind of milky, creamy, kind of a light yellow color about so. Some of these eggs, you know, you can get the brown yolk eggs. Those are real nice. But uh, these ones tend to fluff a lot better. All right, so once I've got this really nicely beaten over here, I'm going to set it aside. Over here off in the front, I'm not going to need the eggs for a little while. Um, I'm going to toss these real quick. Be right back. Bam. All right, now. The, the key with sauteing the veggies for this to get that flavor that you want is to not use big chunky you know pieces of the onion and tomato and mushroom so you, we're going to go into like maybe a quarter inch right here of a slice off a big white onion white onion's just got such a great acetic level to it and it's got a really nice flavor for me eggs anything just about i like a little more and when you cook them they cook down they shrink so um i've, I've sliced myself off two large rings worth and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut these onions really small like i'm going to mince them basically right i don't know if any of you guys know this but when you're cooking when you're when you're prepping your food with a, with a chef knife i think it's sorry i should probably move it into view right Duh. it's really important that you don't hold the, the food with your fingers out like this. You know, you should make a surface like this with your fingers so that the blade can come down and not into your finger. So, or you can hold the top of the knife but make sure none of your fingers are sticking down there, uh, hanging down there. So I'm gonna go in and just mince these up. And mince is kind of a rough word. I, I'm not going that fine like the 
the garlic there. Uh, but just about close, close to that, right? So we'll keep going in here with the mincing. And if you get really good at it, you can kind of shuffle it like this and get kind of quick. Um, I always find the hardest part is keeping a clean area when you're cooking. I hate the cleanup part afterwards. We all got to do it, but um, it's part of it. But if you can, you kind of get good over the years at just minimalizing that, I guess. I wouldn't call it OCD, but maybe it is. Who knows? Um, so here we go. So this is starting to look pretty good. Nice small pieces. Bam, we'll go across it one more time. It's good to have a really nice sharp, uh, sharp excuse me, a really nice sharp chef knife. You know, when you're cutting this kind of stuff, it just takes a lot more of the workload off of your arms and shoulders. All right, so once your onions look like about that, that's about what you want. I don't know if you can see that too well. Minced down, really small pieces. Like about that. You know, you can mince them down more if you want, but I find that's a pretty good, um, that's a decent amount of onion. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's some of you, some of you right now might be going, like, Jesus fucking Christ, that's how much onion he's gonna eat in an omelet? Fine. Well, I'm gonna set a little bit of it aside like this, right? Push some over here, and I'm gonna use that later. Who knows? Maybe I won't. Just wanted to give you guys enough onion you know what's going on. Now we're gonna take the, uh, the tomato, right? Some people like to use a bigger beefsteak tomato. I, I, I find these uh, smaller tomatoes tend to have a lot richer flavor. Um, they're juicy, they're crunchy, they're sweet. If I could ever open this thing, uh, that'd be awesome. Watch this spill them all over the place. All right, here we go. So, now we're gonna cut a few of these cherry tomatoes. Actually, they are, what are they calling them? Yeah, cherubs. All right, gonna slice these down a bit. Boom, what I like to do is they're so small, you wanna be careful with your fingers. Cut them in half once, turn them over, cut them in half again. Bam, get a few on there. I know there's probably going to be cooks out there looking at me going like, what the fuck is he doing? But, um, hey, I'm not on the payroll as a chef, but I do love to cook. I've been cooking all my life, to be honest with you. And you just learn things every day, you know? Like, every time you cook a meal, you, you figure out something or a better way to do it than you knew before. Um, I personally love Asian food. I wish I was better at cooking Asian food. Oh, not that I can't cook some Asian food. Let me tell you, I can do that. But uh, it's a very complex form of cooking. And if you enjoy cooking, you gotta know what flavors go with what and how much to use and yada, yada, yada. You know how, you know the sauce. All right, so these could definitely be smaller. You can chunk them out a little bit smaller. I don't wanna waste anybody's time here. But um, I'm gonna go in one more time, fuck it. Boom, all right, here we go. Still has to taste good, right? All right, guys, so now that I've got this stuff worked out, I've got my tomato, I've got my onion, I'm probably just gonna use that bit of onion there, the smaller pile. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and now that my, you wanna check your coconut oil, you can always just take your hand and put it right over the top. Make sure there's no water anywhere near it, it will spit at you. And that burns, got a couple stars from that. Um, give it a nice little swish around the, the pan like so, and then what we're going to do, actually what I'm going to do is move this where you can see it. How about that? Good, Justin. Okay, so I'm going to take this tomato and just splash it right in there. Bam. Get this onion right in there. Okay. There we go. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab a little, oop, probably use this back over here. I'm gonna take some mushrooms. These don't go in quite yet. You know, mushrooms cook really fast and they, they shrink down immensely after you, you know, once you start cooking them. Remember, you ever mess up or anything like that, just turn your heat off. You know, you don't feel like you have to start over with your meal because, you know, you're, if, if you want something to stop cooking, coconut oil will cook a little longer even after you turn it off, but just turn your heat off, you know? Um, all right, so we're at about a medium, medium low heat 
is what you want on this. You always want to cook on the lower side when you're cooking eggs. They'll cook really fast. You'll burn them, they'll dry them out, and then they're just not as good. So what I'm doing now is I'm slicing these uh, baby bellas up, right? I'm not gonna slice these down small, just to about, I'd say an eighth of an inch, right there. I like them kind of meaty and I like something to chew like that. It's, it's got a nice chew, good texture. All right, so I'm gonna pull out another one. One, two. You start getting good at cutting them the same length, fast. Just gotta be careful. It's always, you know, safety first. All right, here we go. I'm gonna leave that off to the side for about five minutes. You know, let the saute pretty good. It's on low heat, we're not in a rush, right? Uh, now I'm gonna grab out some of this deli meat. Maybe about like four pieces. If it's small, these are like really small, kind of kind of shitty pieces, whatever. Um, if you have the option to go to a store where they sell really good organic stuff, do that. Some of this is really good organic stuff, but turkey meat's turkey. You know, you can kind of just punch around with that when you go to the grocery store. Fuck it. They don't have, you know, this. They got Oscar Myers. Fuck it. Whatever. Foster Farms. Here we go. So I'm going to just cut some of that up. Um, a little small, you know, cut those pieces in half. Kind of spreads it out for me a bit. About that much, you know. That's it. Nice little, nice little portion, right? And that was about, I would say, four pieces, four small slices, like about that big, rolled up, and then you, you just slice them, just like I did. All right, so then this is cooking here like so. You want to wait for it to brown a little bit. know off screen I told you guys about throwing the garlic in well I already had some garlic sort of setting in there and then just switch the heat over here uh, and switch my pan to this position so it's still there it's not burning at all it's doing really well you set these mushrooms aside um, the garlic's in there we're good with that we got the onion the tomato we can probably put all this stuff away now so yeah um, this is fun 15 minutes making an omelet why not uh, it's probably the slowest omelet you guys have ever seen, but I also talk a lot, so there's that. Uh, here we go. Um, turkey back here. Tomato there. Don't need the onion anymore. See, this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying, like, clean as you go. Uh, clean as you go. Then you're not done eating and you're like shit I gotta clean all this now and you're like I'm gonna let it rest for a bit. You know it's probably a good idea to kind of re-whisk your eggs every now and then before you put them in. That's, that way they don't separate. Um, egg exposed to air and all that does some pretty funky stuff. As you all know if you know about cooking. It'll bond. It's it really sticky and hard. Like a, almost like an epoxy. It's weird. You gotta drop it on drip it on something. It's hard to clean up. You just want to keep it, keep it soft and juicy. Wow, they really did do that. Twice. Okay, so now my onion and my tomato. I'm going to get these eggs away too. Onion and tomato starting to get nice and brown. Starting to. Right? It's not quite there yet. Um, yeah, that would be a good idea. Maybe we should have a spatula. And then you can move it around a little bit like so. It looks like it's doing pretty good. I'm going to move this away. Um, yeah, a low heat, here we go, starting to look pretty good, right, alrighty, so now, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to throw in the turkey, okay, then I'm going to throw in the mushrooms, right, and the trick and gentlemen is coming all right so now what we want to do is take out another pan if you have one about this size if not no big uh if you have one a little smaller, a little smaller. hey 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 no barks um you can pull out another pan like i was saying like i don't have one as big as that this guy Right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the contents of this pan, which is the mushroom, the onion, the tomatoes, the garlic, and I'm going to switch them into this smaller pan over here. 
turn the heat on for that so it cooks a little bit more. Okay, and I'll show you the reason I'm doing this. It just makes it really easy when you're making an omelet. I mean, you can flip it, right? But let's do the odds here. You flipping it, breaking it. You know, what's the old saying? You know, the perfect omelet. You want that? Do this way. Trust me, it works. Uh, all right. So now that we've cleaned out all the contents that were in pan A, now it's a really good idea to add a little more coconut oil for your eggs. I like to use virgin coconut oil. Um, where is it? I use a teaspoon um, for something like this, like around so. Keep it lubed up so you don't have any sticking. Coconut oil is so good, it's so good for you. Um, good for your hair, good for your eyesight, your blood pressure. Mm. Your skin does a lot of really instrumental things for the body. Um, cool, whisk in the egg skin. Here we go. All right. So now we're going to start cooking the eggs here in a second. And what we want is to get a nice flat surface. So it kind of creates like a crate, you know, like a, a nice wide but thin layer of the egg that you can then later stick the contents from the other pan into and then fold it over. working out. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit on my uh, mushrooms, tomatoes, onion, and turkey because I like it a little tostado, a little toasty. All right. So once this heat's nice and hot, I'm going to swish the oil around and get it nice and lubed up on every orifice. <laughs> orifice. Orifice of a pan. What is with my choice of words today? Um, so that nothing causes it, the egg to stick. That's rule number one. You're getting this dopeness omelet down. I don't know. Dopeness omelet. I've never called it that in my life. It's just an omelet. But uh, this seemed right in the moment. So here we go. Gonna stir that around a little tiny bit. Bam, 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 bam. They say you're not supposed to use with metal things and metal surfaces, but I didn't really hit the metal. All right, so now I'm going to take my egg, make sure it's all off my whisk, and I'm going to pour it in nice and easy, like so. I'm also going to move this camera to where you guys can see me a little better. How about... That didn't work out too well. How about somewhere right here? So you can see the egg. All right. So you can see what we're doing here. So as you can see, there's a little oil mixed in with it there. That's going to cook the top of the egg as well as what's cooking it from underneath. So that's happening now. I don't want to move it. I don't want to touch it with my spatula at all. I want to let it cook until it's firm enough to flip over. Right? Oh, and if you want at the end with this, a little sour cream, a little dollop right on the top. I'm gonna to use avocado today, but I usually like to throw in some sort of good fat, uh, especially for a workout later. You need that energy if you're doing a high fat, high protein diet like myself. Uh, very low carb, low sugar, low to little to no sugar is kind of like the goal. Um, you gotta watch your oils. You know, coconut oils, avocado oils, olive oils are the good oils for your body. Try to avoid the peanuts, the sesames, even though I love sesame oil. Try to stay away from those high processed, you know, really high burn point seeded oils or nut oils that are typically really bad for you. But there are oils that are great for your body that you can eat with your food and cook better than any other oil and they're delicious. Like coconut oil. All right, so. Stir these puppies around a little bit here, right? Not going to dump them in there yet. When I do, I'm going to sort of drape it across the egg real nice and soft so it doesn't bust my egg. Therefore, my breakfast busted. Not good. 
So this is still cooking. We still have a little while to go for the egg here. It's doing real good. Remember, low heat. Low heat's real key. I like to sit somewhere. It depends if you, I mean, how good your burner is. I mean, you know, some burners are just even on low heat and some, you know, if you turn it down low, it's just not enough heat. But I like to hover somewhere in between, you know, medium to mid-low. You know, like not all the way to the low dial, but about maybe a quarter inch of a tick off the low part of the dial. That gives, just seems to give the perfect amount of heat. Yeah, you gotta be a little more patient. Um, cooking takes patience. It's really nice when you have a glass of wine and standing and talking like this. Something to drink and some music. Cooking is therapeutic, it makes you think. You know, and then just going in your mouth, you made it. You, you get to feel the, the work you put in. Taste the reward, if you will, right? So, now this is getting really nice brown as you can see mushrooms tomatoes onions a little bit of turkey meat okay now as soon as this part of the egg i'm going to go ahead and turn that off the, the meat contents i'm going to turn that off now it just doesn't need to cook any longer the coconut oil will continue to cook it for a little bit longer because it has a really high burn point so it'll still cook it a little bit you got to kind of keep that in mind it's like you ever notice if you cook bacon and you're like, oh, now it's at the right, I'm gonna turn it off. Well, if you leave it in that oil that it's cooking in, which is the bacon fat, has also a really high burn point, it's just gonna keep cooking the bacon. And then you come back a second later, you turn around and your bacon's burnt and crisp with fried, you know? So you do gotta remember when you're cooking with certain oils, what those oils do. All right, so, as you can tell, that what I'm really happy about right now is it's starting to firm up, but when I move the pan slightly, the egg moves with it, like it, which is really good. It's telling me it's not sticking, right? You don't want it to stick. Just need it to cook the middle a little bit more, and then we can go ahead and drop the contents in. So, we're almost there. Now, cheese. I like to throw a little cheese in there. Um, we're doing some avocado. We don't necessarily need a lot of cheese. Avocado will be our main fat source today. But this is, uh, that's some blue cheese. Now we're not gonna use that. Um, if you have any type of like goat cheese, um, anything like that, kind of creamy, it's really nice. Um, if you're not, again, if you're not using sour cream, you wanna stick a little bit in the middle. It just gives it a nice moist sort of texture. Um, it has a pretty cool flavor too. But uh, since we don't have that, classic mozzarella, organic, whole milk mozzarella by the bag never fails. Um, you know, you can just go right in with it. You know, I like to do a tiny bit, you know, hold the grip of it, but just kind of spread it out a little bit on top of the, you know, don't drop it all in. It's just too much, right? But you can kind of gauge it out and see where it's going to fit nicely, right? You can always add more later once you get this contents into the middle of the egg. Alright, we're going to go about that. That looks fine. So, we got that. It's cooking a little more. It's cooking a little more. I might move this cheese around so it doesn't just bunch up right there. Yeah, this is looking good, guys. This is looking real nice. Okay? It's cooking pretty good. So now, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to dump this in. So the thing about it is, don't just dump it. Give it a nice even spread kind of like making a taco right so don't let it bunch up too much just give it a nice even spread try not to bust your egg and just get the contents in there but you want to be able to fold this thing over right so that's it's pretty important that you kind of spread it out a little bit and i'm going to probably start with that side so i'm going to leave a little space there to grab it with my spatula so i can flip it over and then we're good to go in the meantime, while that's doing its thing, I can come over here and grab an avocado. Get my avocado ready to go. Right. Got a nice avocado here. It's probably actually a, a day pass, but uh, that's all right. It's not too bad. Ooh, maybe. Let's see. 
Avocados are finicky, man. Yeah, see? This is bad. Ugh. Got a lot of uh, fungus in there. And when the avocado gets to this point, um, they just taste shitty. So I'm not gonna use that one, unfortunately. Unfortunately, let me see if I have another one. Traveled up here with those yesterday, so that could be part of it. Let's see if this one holds up. I'm gonna have to hit the store later and get some more. But uh, let's see if this one holds up. Let's take a look, see. I don't know. Not feeling too good. Yeah, he's fucked. Yep, so, can't yep, this is what it is. Avocados, once you buy them, they're only good for like, you know, I like to buy them hard so I can keep them for a week. And then I've got them when they're right at the perfect point. But those, I bought them like three days ago and traveled up here to Northern California from where, from LA. They didn't survive the trip, guys. So, uh, yeah, anyway, moving on. So now that we have our contents in the omelet, still can move it around here. It's looking real good, fellas, real good. And ladies, um, we're almost ready. Now, the way you can feel if your omelet's sort of ready to flip over, you gotta be, that's the, that's the hard part. Um, you can kind of touch it without burning yourself. Yep, see, like that's still got a little juice over there. Not really gonna be ready. But um, you can see it, obviously you can see egg firming up um, and it smells a certain way, but touch it. Use your hand, touch it, be, be careful, but you can feel it. When it's time to turn over, it'll let you know that way. All right, it's kind of spongy. Now it's time to give him a flip, you know? So, as soon as I am not seeing too much juice on this egg, I'm gonna be ready. So, let's just do it. Let's go big here. All right, so I'm gonna swish them around to about right there. So I got this nice space here. I'm gonna kind of dip them over here so I can get under. You gotta do with what you got. Now, I can touch them, right? But uh, come over and just give it a nice flip. Man, that looks good. Like it's not burnt on this side. Not too much going on, just perfection. And that's what we're aiming for here on this Friday morning with our dopeness omelet. Now that's a it's a fucking omelet, you know, like it's it's got a good it's got, it's got a good size to it. Um, yeah, you know, I can eat half of it, put half of it away for after a workout in an hour or two. Um, but you know, I, I do intermittent fasting. So I, I go 16 hours, so I, I eat like by seven the night before, and then I don't eat until like 11, 11.30, sometimes noon, depending on the last meal I ate the night before, um, to try to keep weight off and you know how it goes. But uh, yeah, when you have a, you know, you don't need breakfast necessarily. I love breakfast, I love the flavor of it, so I'm having it around, you know, 11.15, right? Um, woke up at seven. The fast in still got a couple hours, a few hours ago. You know, drink some water, drink some coffee if you have to. Just wait it out. It makes it so much worth more worth it when you have something this nice and this well prepared. All right, so I'm gonna grab my plate. All right, we're looking pretty good here. This is just about ready to roll. Um, now again, you can touch it like this. And you can see where you're at. All right, feels pretty darn good to me. I think we're right in the zone. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat because again, it's still gonna cook for another, you know, couple like a minute while that oil is cooling down. I'm just trying to figure out what else I kind of like to throw on it. Since we don't have any avocado now or anything like that. Um, not that it necessarily needs anything. I just like to dress it with something. You know, light and small. Um, typically, that would be a type of cheese. You know, again, if you have like a goat cheese or anything like that, I already put a little bit of mozzarella in there. Not too much, to be honest with you. So I think what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to throw a little Parmesan right on top. Okay. Put it on my plate first. Go ahead and get this bad boy out. Look, it's nice and firm. Excellent. All right, there we go. That's off. 
Now we can go ahead and take this over here. We can go ahead and take uh, be careful guys, it's gonna be hot. A little bit of cheese. And over the top like so. Oh, just a little flavor. You know? A little parmesan never hurt nobody. Right? And that's it guys. You have a nice, healthy, keto friendly if you do that kind of diet. If not, it's still a nice, healthy, protein packed, fat packed, uh, no carbohydrate um, meal. No sugar. So uh, life is good, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, cooking with Dustin today. I'll see you on the next one. Maybe maybe tomorrow night or tonight we'll do something nice. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Ciao.